Hey guys, Shane here from A-Main and happy to be back with you for Tech Talk and today we will be talking about droop screws and how to set them and why we set them. So uh, let's have a look. Over here we have a buggy today that uh, I'm going to be using for demonstrative purposes. So let's have a look at the chassis because the droop screws literally as you will see this chassis over here has these two little ears over here and in the back also has these two little ears which come out and this is where our droop screws are set. Uh, a lot of you will probably be saying well what is a droop screw? It is a screw which is set inside of the suspension arm over here which can be adjusted from the top with regards to the amount of thread that is being um, shown at the bottom that is going to meet these four chassis points in the bottom of the vehicle and the purpose of this very simple screw many people don't know is to help to set correctly the suspension travel for your vehicle so what you'll do is you actually get out a set of calipers which um, of course will very clearly denote um, distance and you'll put your car up on a stand and whilst it's up on the stand you'll measure from the point over here um, of the beginning of the shock to the actual shock arm and this will be your amount of droop for the front as well as for the back. When you do the back it's often easier to remove the, uh, the wing just to get your caliper all the way up over here so you can measure correctly and also often the uh, rear wheel also needs to be removed for the rear but in the front pretty easy to do even without removing anything and you'll set the droop. Now the reason why it's so important is number one you want all four of your wheels to be able to move correctly within their suspension travel so that's very important that of course as you can see over here this car is correctly set up that the droop the angle of the arm is equal on both sides of the car that's giving the car the ability to jump and handle correctly as it goes over the terrain that you're going to be racing it on. So you of course need to do that front to back but you may notice that there's a little bit more angle over here in the rear than in the front. It's just how this particular car is designed and also of course you can set up your suspension to handle differently with regards to its travel if you want to get um, different characteristics out of your vehicle. For example, a, a um, lesser droop so less droop is going to give you less ability to jump so if you're on a track that has lots of jumps but you want to keep very low on the jumps you can most certainly set your droop to be slightly higher up which is going to give you less suspension travel and thus helping your springs to bottom out less and th thus you will jump a little bit lower and on outdoor tracks vice versa you gen generally tend to find that we allow our arms to go just slightly lower than what the on-road guys do and from that perspective we will actually uh, gain an a additional benefit from jumping as such over our terrain um, and the kind of jumps that the outdoor guys have are a little bit bigger so that helps the uh, car to jump correctly. So of course the first purpose like I said of the droop screws to be set correctly in all four parts of the car to help the suspension travel to be correct and then the second part is quite important that we realize over here you can run different modified shock towers, different modified um, shocks, shock bodies, pistons, some people even run different manufacturers for different cars depending on what you would like to get from the car or what you feel may be missing for your driving style. Some people may run shorter or longer shocks for example and when you do this of course you need to make sure that your actual shock shafts travel is not being met to a maximum. Of course this car I can feel is correctly set and the shock shaft still has plenty of space. The reason why that is so important is that right up on the upstroke you want to make sure that of course there's there is a little bit of play over there as you can see because as the piston reaches the top it's going to bottom out at the top that's very rare of course that that should happen but more likely that the piston will reach the bottom in this position now if our droop is incorrectly set or if this shock shaft is too short what will happen is that piston will reach the bottom of the chamber and it will actually hit and it will sit there essentially becoming the bottom of your droop then this, this screw will no longer do anything but every time that the suspension travel will bottom out you will cause damage and wear on the actual internal component which you won't be able to see so in this particular case you'd want to set the droop to be just that little bit higher so that the screw is actually stopping the suspension travel and thus there will be no wear on the shock component. So there's those two very important reasons today for setting your droop screw. Again this was a requested video from one of our users a little while ago so if there's something that you'd like to see or something that you'd like to know a little bit more about, about your buggy, uh, FPV racer, helicopter, anything like that, do comment down below. I'd like to know what videos you guys would like to see in the future. And uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Please do like, comment, share. Helps us to grow the channel. So, of course, uh, that does help us to make more videos, of course, for you. So let us know if you like it. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. You have a lovely day.